All right, here's a crazy stat for you. In today's internet world, we see about 10,000 ads per day. So what does that mean for you and your business? Well, that means you have to write copy that will get people's attention, you know, grab them in and make them want to read more. They're never going to get to your sales pitch, your offer, or learn about all the ways you can help them if you don't get their attention. So in today's demo, we're going to talk about writing amazing hooks. And you can use artificial intelligence to do some of this creative brainstorming to come up with different angles that will grab the attention of your audience and make them want to read more or watch more of your content. So in today's one hour live demo, we're going to dive into copy AI and help you write better copy in less time. We're going to go through a few key things here today. So number one, four things to consider when writing your hook, eight types of hooks that work well, how to come up with hook ideas with AI. And then if we have time at the end, we'll look at 51 catchy headline formulas and how to use headline formulas in copy AI. All right. So if you're joining me live, welcome. Thanks for being here today. My name's Andrew Lane, and I want to help you out with copy AI. If you're new to copy AI, thanks for joining. If you're checking it out, this should be a lot of fun today. And this is just one of the many things you can do with copy AI. So I'll show you here real quick. Um, if you're joining on, let me know where you're watching from. I love to see where you are in the world. It's always good to see who's hanging out. And if you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments. If you have something specific you'd like to know about copy AI or how it can work for your needs, please drop a comment and I'll be happy to help you. I will stop the demo to answer questions because if you join live, you'll get first priority. But I do have a lot to share with you. Otherwise, if we don't get too many questions, we're going to do a lot of experimenting and uh, sharing different ways you can use copy AI for your business. So let's take a look here at an example that I was playing around with. And actually, we had a question in the Facebook group about this specific thing. Like, how do I write? I'm going to pull up this one here first. How do I write a hook with copy AI for, uh, in their case, it was weight loss. All right. So let me go full screen here and We'll spend a little bit more time on the basics of using copy AI, but you'll learn a lot as we go through this demo. All right. Hey, welcome. What's up from India, from the Philippines. Awesome. Thanks for being here. I see more of you jumping on today. We are covering hook writing. So how do you get the attention of your audience? And remember people get bombarded with ads every day over, you know, somewhere around 10,000 ads every day. So you have to make your content stand out. And that's why we're going to talk about writing great hooks today to get their attention and draw them in to uh, read more of your content. So here's a quick uh, thing to try. In Copy AI, you can use a tool called Freestyle. This tool is awesome because you can tell it what you want to create. And you can actually communicate with the AI as if they were a human, it can understand natural language. So imagine having an assistant sitting next to you who's an insanely clever and smart copywriter, knows everything about your product and your target market, and you're going to give them a task. Okay. So you tell them, I want to write a list of 10 hooks uh, to get the attention of my target audience. What information does that person need to know? Okay. Well, what's the topic here? It's going to be about weight loss. The target audience, people in their 40s who feel overweight, want to find a solution that is easy and simple. All right. That's what I typed in there just off the top of my head. If you have more details about your audience, just give it enough to work with. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Just try to give the AI enough context. And on that note, I also told it, uh, the context is this will be seen in social media posts and website headlines. And I came up with a tone of helpful because I actually want these hooks to be helpful, you know, at least a tone that's going to be connecting to the problem and the desire of the customer. So I had it write content and let's see here, it came up with a few results in a few seconds. So here are some ideas. And again, this is really good for brainstorming. So you can see, okay, I like that. I don't like that, or it's not quite the right direction, but you can scan through all these results here super fast. And all of these are going to be original bits of copy written from scratch. Every time you click create content, and you can use this stuff wherever you need to. So let's take a look at what it came up with. Why is it so hard to lose weight? How can I make um, make it easier to lose weight? Let's see here. What if I told you you can lose seven to 10 pounds in the next month? All right. 
a few ideas there. Let's keep scanning. Do you have the right tools to lose weight? That's an interesting one. Okay, so maybe you're going to present uh, some tools or different tactics for them without exercise, seven days, without any effort, with this one weird trick that's a popular one on the internet. Here's how we do it. All right. That's a pretty clever one. You can't lose weight if you don't know how to do it. That'll speak to him. All about the food. All right. Now let's keep scanning. Some of these got a little bit more interesting. Without giving up your favorite foods. Um, the secret that no one knows about. Weird trick and keeping it off. <laughs> it's like maybe correlating to a picture. That's interesting. A simple trick. All right, keep looking at the secret without dieting. Da, 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 da. So these are pretty common. You've seen this kind of stuff all over the internet. But how do you write it for your business? Well, this is an example of what you can do with Copy AI to get it to write this kind of copy. Now, we're going to explore what makes a good hook, You know what's actually going on here, and some, uh, some best practices. Before I do that, I'm going to take a look at any comments coming in. Hey, welcome from Canada. What's up from California? We've got Spain in the house. Thanks for being here. If you can take a moment, I'd love to write some hooks for your business. So if you want to tell me about what you do, who you help, any details you want to share, I can actually practice today and like do some experimenting for your business. So I'd love to hear from some of you. If you have anything you want to write, let me know. And what you're noticing here is this is a great creative brainstorming exercise for what kind of content would actually resonate with my audience. So something like here are the foods you should never eat, right? Perfectly healthy. Um, let's see. <laughs> Seeker, your doctor won't tell you. Like these are all very classic hooks. Okay. So before we continue with AI, uh, let's take a look here at you know, the four laws of incredible hooks for ad copy. This is from Jenna Brandon. And I thought there were some great insights here. Number one, knowing who is your audience. And this is really important with copy AI is if you can tell the AI who you are talking to, it will be able to come up with more relevant hooks. So it can actually uh, pull from its database of what it knows about your customer. And it's going to be very different if it's a college student, if it's a retired you know, couple, if it's someone who's trying to uh, move ahead in their career, or if it's a mom trying to you know, uh, make her life simpler at home, you know, raising kids, like so many different pain points, frustrations, knowing who you're talking to can make a huge difference. And this could also be in the context of where they are in their understanding of what you do. So if you're helping someone um, who is like trying to lose weight for that example, it could be like, Hey, you know what you need, the basics of what you need to know before you get started on a diet, or it could be someone more advanced you know, losing weight for, uh, boxing or something or, or wrestling where they have to like, you know, they're already super healthy, but they're trying to cut down pounds, you know, different scenarios that they're in. We had a, a, a customer who is a, a marathon running coach, right? So you can imagine like different levels of people who are running a marathon. Maybe they're thinking about running a marathon, but they've never done it. Maybe they're, you know, a, a, they've been doing it for 20 years and they're just trying to optimize or cut down or find like this other 1% advantage. So where they are in their journey of working with you or um, working with your uh, types of products or services, that can be another thing to consider and the AI will factor that in. So one way to actually help you figure out who your target audience is, I'll show you this trick here is you can do a list of, let's say five potential customer personas. And let me just go ahead and say, that same thing here. So this is again, using the freestyle tool. And if you want to narrow in who your customer is, or if you're not quite sure, you could actually use AI to figure that out. So let me go ahead and just use a friendly tone here. Cause what I'm actually doing here is kind of working with the AI to help me with my brand messaging and market research. So in this case, I'm going to use the freestyle tool and you can find the tools over here on the left just by searching for them. And when you do that, it'll pop up with this interface. So you can tell it, a list of five potential customer personas. And what are the main points you want to cover? Well, I'm going to tell it who my like target customer is. Let's see what it comes up with here. And just one click, it's going to do a lot of research and some creative thinking for me. Who am I actually speaking to? Let's see if it can dig up some ideas for us. 
look at this. I love sometimes you get these crazy cool things. The I've tried everything person. The I like being in control person. I don't have time for this person. It's just too expensive. <laughs> I'm not good at exercising person. And notice what it came up with too is like a quick description of who that customer is. So think about a sales page, right? Now you're really talking to your customer. Hey, maybe you're this person. I've tried, uh, I've tried all the dieting things and I'm feeling frustrated. So you can actually do market research super fast. And this will work for, again, any business. I'm just using this example because we had a question in the uh, group around like weight loss. And I wanted to show you like the magic of what AI can do for you to help you really fine tune your understanding of your audience and how you're talking to them. So let's keep looking down here. Maybe you've been thinking about getting fit uh, for years, but you haven't found the right solution. You want something that's easy to use and no commitment or pressure. Not spending a lot of money or time. They want something new. Yeah, these are all great insights. All right, so let's continue on. That's a way to do market research to get more clear on who your audience is. And you can create different campaigns and messaging for each different segment of your customer base. Now let's continue on. Appeal to their de the desire and benefit. So what do they actually want? What are they aspiring to have? That's you know healthy body that like fit um, you know fit into their old clothes again. Like these are uh, you know again ways to grab their attention. is speak to their desires. So once you know more about who you're talking to, you can start to surface like what is it they actually want and use that in your hook. Another angle there is their fears and problems. That's another way to grab their attention is speak to the current situation they're in and what they're struggling with. And finally, resolve the issues. So biggest problem they're facing, what's, what are they afraid of? Yeah. The big problems that they're facing. Can you speak to those things? Why does your customer need to change? So a lot of ideas here, you can check it out. Uh, Jenna Brandon wrote this up Four laws of incredible hooks for ad copy. Pretty good stuff there. So I'm going to pause it right there. What we've done so far is showed you a really cool trick for using AI to write up hooks. And that's just kind of a broad way of writing interesting copy that grabs their attention and hooks them in. So they want to read more. Let's take a look at some questions here before we move on. All right. We've got uh, Nigeria. Welcome India. All right. Let's see here. I'm building an affiliate site for vacuum cleaners. My first blog, um, where to buy a vacuum during a recession for cheap. Okay. So let's see here. Topic vacuum cleaners, audience, um, you know, people, this is another one. What if we actually try to come up with this, uh, people who want to, buy, uh, who are looking for cheap vacuum cleaners. Uh, and I guess the, you know, this people thing, like who, who is this? Are these like industrial workers who do uh, carpet cleaning right now? It's a totally different audience. So I'm guessing, uh, people who are looking for cheap vacuum cleaners to clean their, their house. That's what I'm assuming. You know, there's a lot of types of vacuum cleaners out there. So keep that in mind too. And this is important when you're talking to the AI, the AI might not be clear on that. So if it starts to write things that you're like, oh, that's not correct at all. It could be because it's just not sure who you're speaking to. So adding something like uh, to clean their house will really dial in your messaging a little bit more. So let's see what it came up with personas. Is there anything I could uncover here? The achiever. Okay. That's super interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a little bit too much. Okay. Environmentalist, the minimalist, simple and easy without the fuss or hassle. That's probably more accurate. Get the job well done without, I mean, this even comes up with ad copy that you could use. Okay. Let's keep looking. Okay. So now it's considering who, who might this person be right. And this is where, again, you could, you could cater your messaging. So who are you talking to? Is this really custom to like mothers? You know, they have a kids around the house. They have dogs, pets. Is it pet owners? 
other angles you could look at with your messaging. The, <laughs> okay, let's see the lazy, the neat freak. <laughs> if you're doing a site on vacuum cleaners, that'd be a fun angle. Like if you tap into this desire of like keeping things like really clean and tidy around the house and you could speak to like health benefits of having the right vacuum and um, if they have kids or pets, like what that could do for their health overall, what to look for, what to consider. I mean, that's the kind of person that you can really dig into and differentiate your content and your brand by speaking to a certain type of person. Clean freak, the space saver, the, <laughs> the animal lover. There we go. The cheapskate. That's another, another thing. It sounds like you're targeting this content to like the cheapskate, like, or, or at least they're, uh, the penny pincher, right? Maybe a better word for that. Okay. So that's kind of a fun way to look at it. Let's go back to our hook generator. And that's where it's really important. If we were, if you were clear on that, you could have, um, more unique copy. So let me see if there were any questions around that. Okay. They want to spend, and yeah, this is being recorded. It's on, actually, there's a lot of recordings on the YouTube channel. So if you go check out, uh, the copy AI YouTube channel, You'll see under the live section, we have now, this is our number 148. So there's plenty of content for you. Check out the recent ones. And if there's a topic that you need more info on, like blogging, social media, email writing, all of that's available on the Copy AI YouTube channel. You can see uh, more demos that we've done. All right. So they want to spend under $100. Okay. So let's, let's type that in. I don't have a lot of details, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. People who are looking for cheap vacuum cleaners to clean their house for under $100. Let's try that out. So again, knowing your audience, uh, trying to figure out what their desires are. So we have pretty clear desire here. They want to clean their house for, you know, have a vacuum that's cost less than $100. And their pain points, friction. Well, let's see if we can dig into any of that. Keep your house clean. That's a good topic, right? What's the best? Now, these are great. Uh, a hook could also be used as a headline for your blog. So th this is, can actually help you come up with content ideas, uh, reviews and buying guide. And the numbers here, the, the years, you can just change that up. It may just consider some of these things like placeholder. Obviously, it wouldn't be 2019. Let's keep looking. All right, that's... That's obvious. Uh, don't waste your money on expensive vacuum cleaners that don't work. That's going to really speak to that person who's looking for a deal and they don't want to feel bad about it. So if you come from an angle of don't waste your money on that stuff, that's they're not even that good, right? So saving money, that's going to speak right to their desire and get the best value. That's a really good one. So now if you're thinking in their head, like what's going to make them read more? This kind of person is really uh, money conscious at the moment. They want to find the best affordable vacuum cleaner. I mean, we're really niching down here, but... But this is, I think, going to get their attention. It's speaking to their desire, right? Save money. We've done the research for you and found the best. All right. <laughs> I love how it's really getting to their, like, not these crappy vacuum cleaners. All right. That's a good promise for your, your blog. Some of these could be used in different places on your site. Perfect. That's a good promise as well. And again, you know, um, these could be used in so many places. Put that on the top of your site and, and you should see more engagement, more interest. There's going to be instant clarity. Uh, they see the benefits and they see what you're doing for them. So a hook can be used not just on social posts, but websites, anywhere you can, you want to keep their attention and keep them reading more. That's where a hook could be used. Ooh, even some urgency there before they sell out. Okay, so some different content ideas here, how to choose the right vacuum, what are the best on Amazon, some things to know. Let's see. Um, <laughs> do you hate cleaning your floor? Okay, these are really interesting. And and you'll get some like wild, I like the the direction that the AI can go sometimes is a little bit unpredictable. So it's funny to see what it starts to come up with. Like it's giving us some like more uh, conversational 
less robotic kind of copy down here. <laughs> Two vacuums collide in midair. Okay, now it's getting really creative. It's really trying to get their attention. Throwing vacuums at each other. Okay, there's a, a marketing angle for you that the AI came up with <laughs> to get their attention. I'm going to pause there and take a look at any uh, comments coming in. All right, how to write the perfect blog intro, the how-to blog. All right, so topic, I guess it would be, I mean, is that the topic? Or is there context? Um, this will go at the top of a how-to blog article on how to find the perfect vacuum for your needs. All right. I wonder if we can come up with something that specific to hook them in on a how to in the same topic. It's a really random topic, but it's kind of fun. Let's see here. Marissa, I was looking for um, asking AI information about Ayurveda the other day. I kept getting the same basic information. Oh, cool. So Marissa, that's a great point. I think some of the tips I'm sharing with you today can really uh, help out. So getting more clear as to the context, what you're trying to get it to write, what, who is your audience? And maybe you can share with me, Marissa, what were you trying to write about? What was the situation? Is it a social post? Is it an email? Is it sales page? Give me some more ideas on what you were trying to write and maybe uh, what the topic was specifically and then who it was for. We could play around with some ideas there. Okay, I'm, I'm curious here. We'll, we'll we'll finish this here with this hook idea. And we have the audience and now it's gonna be something for the top of a blog. So it's playing around here. It's an interesting task that we gave it. your needs, how to find a vacuum cleaner for you. <laughs> that, that is hilarious. Uh, let's see. It's kind of just, you know, coming up with ideas here of what could be like an interesting headline. All of these could be usable on your blog. So have at it. Go ahead and grab these and use them. All right. Mm, there you go. So like tight spaces, what to look for. Anyway, it's just, we can go all day on this, but try it out for yourself on your vacuum cleaner blog. Okay, let's see here. Awesome. Glad you signed up for Copy AI. Try it out. Be fun to see what um, you come up with there. Two to three articles. Um, yeah, you know, when it comes to blog strategy, blog writing, Potentially, you, you can definitely write in a unique content for each type of customer. It may be easier to start with just one. So I think the overall recommendation would be to target one type of customer, maybe like pet owners, and niche down to that. So if you're trying to rank on Google, uh, the more consistent you can be for the first like 50 to 100 blogs would be better. So if you really start to rank for like, you know, affordable vacuum cleaners for pet owners, that's going to be much more niche down and interesting to a very large audience of people. But again, you're going to maybe become like the leader on the internet for that type of search. So that's, that's an angle to go. If you try to go too broad to everybody, all those different uh, customer personas, then it's going to be hard to figure out like, what is your site for? Who's it for? Who, who do you serve? If you focus on one thing for a while and you may have to try a bunch at the beginning to see what really gets traction, to see what you like writing about and what, your audience responds to. So you could experiment a bit, but once you get some traction or you feel like you got something, some momentum, you know, push that for a while and see what you can do. All right, let's see. Okay, bullet points. Let's see. Um, basic principles, self-care, body maintenance. Interesting. Okay. So on that note, let's try something out here. I'm going to try that persona. So target audience, people who are what are they looking for with Ayurveda? Because I have a friend who does Ayurveda. We actually did a demo, Marissa, a while back. Uh, let me see if I can find it for you. This would really benefit you. A little bit older now, but 
Uh, let's see here. Probably can't dive into it too much today. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, it was number 16, actually. Copy AI demo number 16, way back when. So this is it's in a little bit outdated now. The, the app has come a long way. But uh, Rebecca Mundal, and she is an Ayurveda chef. So it was to help her with her, her service, like selling her services. You may be able to see some ideas from that. But again, it's super old. <laughs> this was back a while ago. So what we showed you there is probably a little bit outdated. So let's see if I can come up with some ideas. A uh, woman in their 40s and 50s. Perfect. So let's try this out. Woman in their 40s and 50s. All right. Um, let's see. Looking for... Looking for... Um, Info on how Ayurveda, I love these like niche down. I'm going to make sure. So Ayurveda help with, let's see here, menopause. All right. Let's just see if what it comes up with the customer personas. Maybe there's even a niche. That's very niche down already. So we might not need to do much with this. Body balancing, okay. It's pretty clear what it's figuring out here. Let's see, looking for the ease. Okay, that's a that's a niche down again, like the money issue there. Uh, hope, okay, so maybe they're pre, like looking for ways, currently experiencing. So clearly the AI has some understanding here. These are fun too when it comes up with this, the concerned mom, the busy professional, the health conscious hippie, <laughs> uh, the spiritual seeker. <laughs> okay. The commuter, the mom, the athlete. All right. So that, that gives you an idea of like how, you know, the AI is like, I don't know, like we can go in a lot of directions here, which, which, type of customer is the one that you really communicate. And, and oftentimes we have blind spots in our own marketing because we have an assumption, like I know who I'm talking to, but when you work with AI, you start to see like, oh, there's a lot of other possibilities of who I could help. Maybe I should be more clear in my marketing and communication on who I actually work with. So this is a good exercise. Again, try this out, freestyle tool, a list of five potential customer personas, and then just tell it who your audience is. And now you're going to dig in a little bit more into what we talked about, those uh, desires, their their fear, their frustration, their blocks. They're very it's, it's super specific to the kind of person that you're working with. All right, so now if we take that and um, let's see, balancing with uh, balancing your body with your Veda and we give it niche and let's just tell it um this will start of my social media posts to get their attention and make them to learn more let's try that out We're talking hooks today if you want to see more longer form content go back to we did a demo, I think actually our last one, number 147. You can just go to YouTube and type in copy AI 147 and you'll see, we did a whole training on how to come up with social content. So even longer, like helpful educational bits of content. So this is a way to get hooks that grab their attention. Let's see what we came up with. That's pretty cool. Uh, looking for ways to reduce symptoms of... These are definitely going to speak to them, huh? So it's actually, you see how we, uh, the AIs that can dig in much deeper than you might think, like into like what's actually going on here and how you could get their attention. Alternative approach, ways to reduce. 
Right. Yeah. Simple questions that really grab their attention. <laughs> That's actually a funny little intro to a post right there. Uh, let's see. I want to feel like your old self again. Interesting. Feeling out of whack. Look at that. So it's doing a good job. See, it's understanding their pain point, their fear, their frustration. Oh my gosh. It's it's really digging into to a lot of their needs. And this is again a starting point. So this is a way to 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 if you start with hooks, you'll actually find that you start to write way more engaging content in general. So if you if your goal is to, you know, get more traction on your social media content, uh, make more interesting YouTube videos, or just make your website pop a little bit more and more fun to read through. This is a way to do it. And let's let's try a couple more examples today. Before I do, uh, let's see here. Cool. Thanks for hanging out. Grab the, re the replay for sure on the YouTube channel. And be sure to join the uh, Facebook community as well. If you're on Facebook, Copy AI Facebook group, you can ask questions. And that's kind of like where we help people out in between these demos. Uh, as things come up, you can get inspiration from others and ask questions in the community. All right. Financial options services all right let's see topic this is one where i'm like i don't know like what this is so broad uh so what can you give me more details about this one because you do financial options services is this for you know who's this for who are you targeting here all right, I'm going to take a look at this question. Add copies with, with descriptions, target audience. All right, let's see here. Examples to write ad copies along with description. Okay, let's take a look at that. All right, for you, I'll finish this one 55 and up, male, conservative. All right. for is they're looking for information uh looking or let's just say that looking for financial options services i'll try that out okay selling dealing with equities options all right so copy around selling financial services dealing with services let's see these options all right, let's let's see what it came up with that without that extra thing there. Mm -hmm. They feel like they're not up to date with the trends. Again, you can dig into a little bit of market research here to stay safe when it comes to their money. So I'm going to give them peace of mind by offering a set of reliable services. That's pretty cool. That's good little insights there can help you craft your messaging. Um, once you invest some money that fits into their schedule. <laughs> I just came up with names. All right, let's try with some, a, a little bit more details. And then I'll, I'll get to uh, this other question here around uh, students looking for e-learning Python course. Cool. I'll get to that here in just a moment. You want to make your money work harder. Diversify your portfolio. Okay, so a lot of things coming up here, and these are just ideas to get more clear on who your customer is and how you can help them, what they're looking to do. All right, a few different examples here of the kind of customers. This is great market research. Should help you a lot with... Just being clear in your marketing, who you help. Retiree, long-term investment plan, stock options, wary, and there's a fear. So if you feel like it's on the right track, then let's go ahead and try dropping that in. Financial options, and let's go ahead and do target audience. How can you make content that's going to really grab their attention? Again, this could be used for ads. This could be used for website copy, YouTube videos. Even the beginning of a YouTube video can grab their attention and make them want to read more sales video. Hmm. 
There's a, there's an interesting one. Worry about being taken advantage of big by big banks and investment firms. Want to protect your money from inflation while getting the best returns possible. Looking for someone to help you make more smart decisions. Right there would be like the top of a website. Boom, boom, boom. I can help. Like <laughs> that's really good. That really can hook them in. The start of a sales video, start of a website, potentially an ad. Look at these. Could you be paying too much for your stock? Or you could be missing out on the next big thing. Want to retire early? We can help with that. Want to grow your portfolio at the risk? You interested in buying stocks in a way that's safe and secure? Just ask us if you've been thinking about really cool angles here. Let me know, Michael, if this is uh, helping. Yeah, these are great, huh? So really, you have you have this now at your fingertips. Go grab Copy AI, follow these same steps, watch back through this video to get some more ideas, and then check out the previous demo where we can actually you can you can take this. Um, let's see here. The next step that I would do is I would I would do these in phases, right? So I look for like okay, what are the hooks and the angles that I can I can use to make my website, my sales marketing. Uh, much more effective. And then if you wanted to turn that into a longer form content, what you can do is um, tell it to write a, a social media post that will help my target audience and um, make me look like a trusted expert. Let's just try that. You can just be really clear. Again, think about what I wanted to do, what am I trying to accomplish here? Topic, target audience, and let's say the um, post, um, what would I say here? The post title, let's try that out. All right, so now you can tell it, not just a hook, but how can, can we get it to actually write up a post on being worried about being taken advantage of by big banks and investment firms? Now, sometimes it'll be a little bit too cheesy with like just <laughs> saying who it's for, but let's see. Mm, let's keep scanning. All right. Now what I'm noticing here is you see how it's really selling is leaning towards selling. Let's try going back to our input here and I'm going to take out the topic because I think having financial options services, it thinks that you're really just trying to sell the services. So because we put that in there, and maybe the way we phrase this too, looking for um, looking for information So I'm noticing that AI thinks that we're trying to sell your service when really if you want to create educational content, Okay, so see what it's doing here now. It's a little bit more of like, hey, I'm here to help you. So this is great for like LinkedIn or you know any kind of professional content you want to write. It's going to do it in a way that is positioning you as the trusted expert, right? Because we've told it to do that. Still going into selling a little bit. Let's see here. All right, that's a little bit less salesy. Now, anytime it comes up with a percentage like this, take that with a grain of salt. It's a predictive writing model, so it's not always um, totally true yet. In the future, the AI most likely will be able to like pull in sources and cite those sources. Sometimes the, the stats and things are true, but consider these a placeholder. You want to go look that up because it's just kind of basing this off of a, a general understanding of what it knows, but it's not actually looking up specific sources. So just be, be wary of that. Consider all this a first draft and be sure to go and you know check any of these little facts or details before you post anything. Like something like this too. If it comes up with numbers and all that may be true, but I would always verify that. So you see it now took that hook and it's turning it into content. So think about this in phases. 
of uh, finding the kind of hooks that you want to share. And then you can actually use the AI to write it out too. All right, let me pause there and let's take a look here at this one. Before we jump into this question, I'm going to go back and show you eight, you know, eight uh, you know, common ways to write a great hook. So if we look here, this is from copywritingcourse.com. And uh, it's actually uh, Neville. He's uh, one of the early investors with Copy AI, really cool guy here in Austin, Texas. Be sure to check out his content, copywritingcourse.com. But he's got a great uh, list here of some ways to hook your audience and get them to want to read more. So let's see here. An anecdote. Just a few years ago, it was out of control. So starting it off with a hook like this, like a quick story to kind of drag him into a plot line. Asking a question. You see a lot of these popping up. The AI was doing a good job of this. Use a stat. All right, another great way to hook them in. <laughs> the pattern break. Nice. Uh, let's see, use a quote. Okay. Use dialogue. Who am I? You sure you want to know? Interesting. <laughs> let's see here. Use controversy. Fake news. So controversy, I saw a little bit of that, kind of like these, you know, what they want, they don't want you to know kind of thing, or what the doctors aren't going to tell you about weight loss, like a little bit of controversial. <laughs> we see this a lot out there in marketing. Uh, let's see, interactive tools. Let's see, fill out the boxes, receive your custom workage rate. Okay, make it more engaging. So a few good ideas right there. You can check out more on this if you want. Go to copywriting course and look up how to write a hook. All right, let's get back to copy AI here. Nice, Michael. Glad that was helpful. All right, I see here. Graphic designer, Brandon, how do I use copy AI to help me write better content for my small business? Great question. I'll get to that next. First, I got to help out this answer here. So, and by the way, I'm, I'm also a graphic designer and brand identity designer. So, I'll just tell you it's helped me huge, like big time with my business. And that's how I first found copy AI and got to develop the relationship with them. When they first came out, I was struggling to actually write content for my clients. I was creating great videos and graphics and helping them get their sites up and build courses. But when it came to marketing and promoting, I didn't really know what to do to help them. So I started using copy AI to help my clients and I was able to charge a lot more money and get a lot more done in less time. So if you want to do this for your business, then uh, I would consider trying this out with your clients, do some experimenting and you can actually get, you can get paid to kind of learn how to use copy AI and then start to use it for your business as well. But it all comes down to marketing. It's really good at sales and marketing and educational content. So if you want to educate your audience by sharing tips on, on graphic design and branding to attract customers, that's one way to do it. Check out uh, some of the blog, um, blogging demos that we've done. That'll give you an, an idea of how you can create content to market yourself. But just selling your services, selling the importance of branding and marketing could be a really useful way to use this. But I would also highly recommend trying to create a service to help your clients with their marketing copy. Even if you're not a good copywriter, you can just throw that in and into your um, offer as like, hey, I'll give you a rough draft of some marketing copy you could use. Um, there's so much you can do there, but the other exercise is these branding personas, really good one there. You can also use some of the, the tools around, sorry, I got into this question first cause I was excited about it. Uh, some of the startup tools are pretty useful. So you can actually write, uh, like audience refiner is similar to what I was doing there with the customer personas, the brand mission, the brand voice, motto generators, value propositions. I would recommend checking out the uh, the demo we did recently called Creative Freestyle Examples. Uh, let me find that for you. This one was a really fun one. Uh, it was actually number 145, so pretty recent. You'll probably really geek out watching this one because I had some fun here showing you a bunch of ways you could use Copy AI. So it's number 145, Creative freestyle tool examples, a lot of ideas of 
um, how you can use Copy AI for various tasks, including coming up with slogans and business names. So it's really, really good for branding if you do that for a business. All right, let's look back here. I'm going to answer this question. Okay, awesome. Yeah, glad that helped. Very cool. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging out today and happy to help out. We've got another 10 minutes, so we'll try to get a couple more ideas in here. So let's take a look at this one. Add copies along with description. Target audience looking for e-learning. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's plug this back into our list of, let's say, 10 hooks to grab the attention of my target audience. Target audience. Um, students looking for e-learning uh, courses on um, Python. And then we'll have the, <laughs> that's probably enough. Let's say context. This hook will be a hook at the start. Add. Try that out, see what it does. So I spend a lot of time on the freestyle tool. There are other ways to do this. You might see a hook generator tool. If you, if you search in hook in the tools, there's a hook generator tool and a short text hook. They're a little bit different in how they work. So these tools are trained specifically for hooks. So that example earlier, weight loss, um, who it's for. And if you look through, you see these are all like one answers. So the hook generator tool is trained to just write one hook. And it's based on like, it's been given a data set of a bunch of hooks and it's going to try to apply it to your business. Now I find that these are not quite as dynamic and you don't have as much control to like really guide it to get you what you want. Some of these are interesting though. You might find some results and these are a little bit different styles. So it's hard to explain sometimes like the difference between the hooks that the freestyle tool is writing versus the hook generator tool here. Like, you know, without counting some color, this woman. So it's kind of like oh, creating a, a narrative and it's actually doing something different where it was like drawing you into a story. So we saw the example earlier of starting off a hook with like a story. I didn't, I don't really see the freestyle tool doing that. So you may, if you're not getting what you want out of the freestyle tool, using this approach of like telling it what you want to write, you can just go to a tool like the hook generator search for that and see if you put in even that same input here and see if you get some different ideas. Like they're not bad. I mean, these are good. Let's see. Another tool to look at, and this may be more of what you're looking for in this example is the short text hook, which creates more of a, like a multi-line thing here. So want to lose weight, da, 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 da. reading this will help you. So it's like a couple lines, a little bit more of what you'd see in an ad. Mm, let's see here. All right, so you see some different, like this is, you know, the style is a little bit different. So short text hook, if you hover over that, it's saying um, short but powerful posts for social media. It's kind of like an ad too. You can also look at the ads. So if we look at the tools, let's see here, digital ad copy. There are some other tools as well that may be useful for you. Facebook headlines, Facebook link description, primary text. I would say try these out. I think the one that I've liked in the past too is the just general, have that one, general ad copy. Uh, let me try that one out really quick with that same input from earlier. Weight loss, uh, let's just go with that. And I'll, I'll use a persuasive tone as well. That's something to consider. And then I'll come back and review the results from the uh, e-learning for students. But this is other tools you could try. If you're not getting what you want, or if you're not quite sure what to do, try the general ad copy, the ad copy tools, the hook tools.
And that's a great hook. Like an ad in general is going to be trained to write really good hooks. So the in the past, I've used general ad copy, and I've seen some uh, some awesome stuff. So. And it'll make a name here because we didn't give it a, a brand name or a product name. So <laughs> it, it does come up with stuff to try to fill in the gaps. It might even come up with uh, URLs. Just consider these placeholder again, pop in your own, but it's trying to show you like what it could look like. And some of these things might be real, right? Dr. Oz, it's just making up like what it kind of knows about the topic, but use these as just inspiration to swap out whatever it comes up with here. So I think this may be closer to what you were looking for with that ad like description kind of a little bit longer form, not just a hook, but a little bit more to it. So let's go back here and see what we saw earlier. I'm curious how these hooks turned out with a student looking for e-commerce courses on Python. From the comfort of your home, top programming language can be left from the comfort of your home. This course, all right, Python's one of the software games right now. You can get started. Cool, some of these are pretty good. A lot of benefit-driven hooks here. Never been easier. Pretty good stuff, let's see. I'm really like you, if you've ever, if you've ever looked at a sales page, you'll notice they do this a lot. They ask these questions. So I see it doing a good job of asking the kind of questions. Like you ever tried learning on your own, but struggle, like you want to looking for the right way and want to avoid beginner mistakes, really great angles and lines to be like, yes, yes, yes. And that's an, another common thing in sales copywriting is getting them to say those many yeses, like, oh yes, yes, yes. Like you're actually self-identifying where they get in the habit of being like, okay, cool. This is for me. This is for me. Yeah. 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 And just by asking good questions like that, you can really get them to move through the process and feel like it's, they're making the choice to move forward. It's not you trying to like force them into it. You're just inviting them in to learn more. All right. Those are all pretty similar. Let's see. That's a pretty interesting one. <laughs> okay, introvert making an impact. All right, let's see, easy to use. Now, what I'm noticing here is I think what we could dig into is guide it more on what the benefits are. So, so they can um, use this skill in their career right really what they're looking for is getting a good job having a career that's fulfilling i would tell it something like so they can or what is the reason they would do this they're not just learning a python for fun they're learning it for a purpose all right i'm going to say last call for questions if you are here we got a good crowd last call today we're doing some demos. Thanks everyone for uh, your comments. We've got some really good examples today. So let's see what this, did, did this help it, right? Adding a little bit more, telling the AI a little bit more, let's focus on like the career, the benefits of a career. What kind of hooks can we get that will attract them and show them like this is the path? Mm, these are a little bit broad. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. It's kind of overcoming their fear of needing to be a genius. It's giving us a lot of benefits. So it's, uh, sections of a sales page here could pull out this stuff. Really good call to action. I mean, it's almost like writing your sales page copy. Let's see, we'll make you more qualified. Not really hooks here, but it's kind of digging into the benefits, I guess. There you go. That's a little better. 
Um, definitely good for pulling out. You know, I'm not really seeing like great hooks necessarily. And that's where I'd be curious if we had a tool like the hook generator, if it would do better here, target audience. Uh, helpful, maybe, you know, I'm using a helpful tone. You can type in any tone you want here. The persuasive stuff is also going to be a good one. Bold, adventurous, those could be good for hooks. All right, that's definitely selling like the features here. Okay, see that number? It's using that social proof as a way to hook them in. So a few ideas. Yeah, it's it's a tricky one. I think you got a lot of content to work with though. So uh, using this this approach, you may have to dig through it a little bit, but you could actually repurpose a lot of this content in other ways. All right. Thank you, Marissa. Glad this was helpful. Okay, the last thing I'll show you, this is just a fun one. Headline formulas. We've got one minute left. Uh, there is a site called I've shared this one a few times, sumo.com. They have a, an article here, 51 headline formulas to skyrocket conversions. It's a similar approach here to writing hooks. And they have a great list here. If you want to learn more about the types of hooks and these can be used on email headlines, YouTube videos, uh, digital products, eBooks, checklists, you know, courses, a lot of good stuff here. So how to right? the um, number of ways to do something, uh, the ultimate guide. These could be great blog titles, right? We saw that some of the strategies earlier on hooks, right? The fear monger headline warning, you know, going in that direction. And I'm curious if we could now apply that to copy AI. So I'm, I'm curious here, if we grab that one and we went back in and we said, hey, freestyle tool, list of 10, let's say headlines to grab the attention target audience, and let's say a uh, headline formula. As I'm telling it now, I want it to be this kind of like warning. Are you blank? Let's see what it can do here. Uh, let's be bold. So can you take a proven headline formula and get the AI to start writing that style? If you're like, hey, I want I want some headlines around this, but I'm not really sure what I would say here. Could we actually come up with that? Let's see what it did. Now it, it missed it there. It's just going out, gave up and went in different directions. Uh, but we are seeing some different styles, the complete hands-on guide. These are a little bit different. So, these, so headlines could be another way to get hooks. You know, these are a little bit more, a little different style, but definitely eye-catching. And it's not able to figure that out. Are you, let's see. Okay, here we go. It doesn't always hit it, right? So you see it was struggling before, but now you're missing out on the bed. <laughs> Look at the sales copy, huh? It just came up with it. So what if we tried that? Uh, let's just say uh, sales copy. And we just told it that same stuff, right? And if we gave it this, are you something? I wonder if we could handle that now. Because you can be pretty lazy too. I'm showing you very specific use cases, but a lot of people just come in here and say, I don't know, write sales copy and just come up with cool stuff. And it can do it. Mm, I, don't, I mean, there's probably a lot in there. Ah, It's just not quite figuring that out. So that one's... I'm going to go back and try a different formula because it's usually able to handle that. Let's see the ultimate guide to... Let's try that. And then I'm going to wrap up here in a moment. Cool. Glad this was helpful. <laughs> We're having some fun now. Okay. Learning Python. There we go. And it's just writing some copy. You see, it's doing similar things. You can even pull out hooks from within the sales copy. There you go. There, there's the, I mean, that's basically an entire ad right there. 
So that's pretty impressive. It can do all of that. And I, I gave it some a push in that direction of like what the headline should be. And it kind of wove that in. I could take that out and it's going to do similar stuff. But if we just kept that same kind of input and just told it sales copy, you'll get hooks, you'll get some ideas. And that's the other side of this. You can go more down a path of just, hey, I'm going to have it write sales copy. And now that I know what I'm looking for in hooks, <laughs> there's a hook, right? <laughs> that's pretty funny how I did that. You'll see the skill that it has at selling anything is incredible. It's really a high level. It's high level skills, like the a professional copywriter. Look at that. It's kind of challenging them. It's asking them a question. Look at that. It just crushed it. Okay. So this is powerful. It's applying hooks directly into the content and then it's expanding on that and giving you sales copy. It's thinking it's free. So if it is free, there you go. There's an, there's an ad for, look at that. It's such good sales copy. So this could work for anything. If you're trying to sell something, copy AI is really, really good. So just telling it sales copy, who it's for. Uh, in this case, I think I didn't need the context. So maybe that helps, but probably didn't need it telling it who it's for, what it is, it will figure it out. All right. So that's it for today. Thanks for hanging out. You learned a lot about writing great hooks. Excuse me. <laughs> a lot of, learn about writing great hooks and uh, how copy AI can help you uh, not just know like what to write, but get that first draft done super fast and have a lot of fun in the process. So we applied it to several different types of businesses and industries and target audiences. And you can see the depth of knowledge that it has and its skill in writing compelling uh, copy that will help you get more attention and persuade people to take action and check out what you have to offer. All right. That's it for today. Thanks for hanging out and be sure to grab copy. AI, try it out for yourself. You can do it, use it for free and uh, watch the magic happen. Join the Facebook group, subscribe on the YouTube channel. We've got a lot more content for you until next time. Take care and happy writing.